happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In Out of the Box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us, we have the Sony ICF SW7600GR, and I'll perform a daytime medium wave band scan. First, we'll go over features. Second, we'll do a size comparison. Third, we'll start cruising the daytime band. So the Sony 7600GR, this is our last hurrah for shortwave radio. I believe this is one of the last units they produced. They made this one for quite a while, and then I believe, I don't know, four or five years ago, they decided to stop making it. Now, it's been about three years since I've made videos on this radio, and I had a lot of new subscribers since, and they may not know about this radio, so let's get into it. So features of the Sony shortwave 7600GR, cool, I think it does quite a bit. Uh, we got the left-hand side, we got a carry strap with a swivel. We have an AM external antenna jack. Yep, AM, it can do medium wave as well as short wave. Uh, here we have an attenuator, very handy to have. Minimum, maximum control, and turning it on and off switch there. Line out for recording, yes, that's awesome. Uh, headphone jack for FM stereo listening. DC input, 6 volts, no polarity. Okay, on the front of the radio, we have our speaker here behind a metal grill. We have a light button. It's got a green LED. It's pretty faint, but at night you can make it out. And down here you can see what the radio does. It's FM stereo, short wave, medium wave, long wave. Okay, model number. Uh, let's see the LCD. You can see it says AM dual conversion above it. LCD shows some basic information showing it's on daylight saving mode. And we have the current time, 11.03. That's uh, AM, central daylight time. Uh, what page you're on for your uh, 100 memory presets. Over here we have a lock switch. Lock the radio out. Sleep function, on off button. Numeric keypad for, of course, direct entering frequencies. There's direct button, so you have to hit direct. Frequency, execute. <laughs> you have to do it that way, unfortunately. Um, down here we have a page function. To, you have 10 different pages to access your presets. Scanning, uh, FM, AM button. Standby memory, A, B for timer setting. Uh, you have enter presets, erase presets. If you notice, you got time setting buttons, local, daylight savings, and then world time. Over here is your tuning buttons. There's no tuning knob on this radio, so a lot of people didn't like it because it didn't have a tuning knob, but I don't mind these buttons. They work pretty well. You got your quick tuning and your slow tuning. I do like that. This does 10 kilohertz steps and uh, single uh, 1 kilohertz stepping. You can see it says manual tune. There you go. Right inside of the radio, we got some switches going on, some controls. Well, first, we got volume. Uh, wheel there. Tone control. we got the news music. I tend to move it back and forth depending on what I'm listening to. Mm -hmm. AM mode. This is cool. <laughs> this is awesome, actually. you got normal. you got synchronous detection, which I use quite a bit in the evening uh, when there's offending stations. That works fantastic. And single sideband mode when you're trying to get the uh, ham transmissions. And, of course, for medium wave, too, as well. And once you're on single sideband mode or sync mode, you can change from lower sideband to upper sideband. Over in single sideband mode, you can find adjust right here on this wheel. Nice. Good little setup. I like it. The AM synchronous detect works fantastic on this radio. Top of the radio, you can see you got your antenna. It's pretty fragile. You got to be careful with it. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to display that, but it does pop up, which is nice. On the back of the radio, we have a kickout stand with a uh, time chart for the country you're in. You can see the, just kind of draw the line of your area. It's where I'm at right there. Minus six from UTC. You can see the different countries. Here we have Sony, and it runs on four AA batteries, which I'll show you in a moment. Made in Japan. I gotta love that. This was used uh, off of eBay, and it came in pretty nice. Pretty clean example of this radio, so I was excited to get it. Didn't get a box or anything, but uh, just a nice, clean radio. Let's go ahead and get this open. It's a hinge compartment. Awesome. Like I said, four AA batteries. Okay, pretty basic there. It's kind of like a mini presentation what I'm doing here. So let's close that up. All right. So let's uh, let's see what's that say there. Is that some Japanese writing and caution? Okay, and serial number. All right, awesome. So let's go do a little quick size comparison, and we'll start cruising the daytime band. Um, it's been a while, so let's hopefully I'll pick up some stations. Now, I, I was messing with this earlier, and I was doing a great job. Here's CC Pocket. Kind of fits right where the speaker's at. 
There you go. Current time again, same. And uh, let's see, we have SKC Skywave. Uh, we usually use this for frequency checking. Uh, in most of my classic radios, where radios don't have a digital tuner, but this has digital tuner, so we should be fine. Gives you an idea. CC Skyway does quite a bit as well. All right. And then we have, of course, last but not least, Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He loves Sony's made in Japan. He's the mighty Iron Man. Sing it with me. <laughs> you get it. Anyway, deck of cards. Universal. Awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn this on. That way. And uh, so, as most people know, uh, radios have two antennas. That back antenna there is for FM and shortwave. And the internal antenna is a ferrite bar with a coil of copper to catch the longer frequencies, such as long wave and the medium wave. And then the FM and shortwave are really small waves, and they need the whip antenna. So, different antennas. Now, that medium wave antenna, the internal antenna, um, is usually right along here its horizontal position, and you have to aim the top of the radio towards the station you're trying to receive, and the station will come in clear. I'll show you that with the first station we try to listen to. So let's turn this on. We have volume control. Okay, first station is going to be 540. So right now we're on 530. So what page we're on. It only shows what band, AM band. It's got a tiny LCD window, but it's enough. Don't need much information. So there's a station here, but you can't really hear it. So I have to turn it towards the north where it's broadcasting from. So let's go ahead and do that. It's this tune there. So there you go. Turn the volume up. Tone control. That kind of helped take some of the edge out since it doesn't really have a bandwidth filter. Um, you can use a tone control to help you. But I tell you what, man, when you, I'm just saying, like, get used to that because people aren't going to be afraid. I think as soon as people realize that they don't have to be afraid of this. And as I move it away, as you can hear, the signal dies. So a lot of new uh, people to my channel don't know that. So education is always good. Every time I do a medium wave band scan, I will educate. Let's keep going. From Israel two weeks ago. This is a few months ago. Found that those who had experienced prior infections were 27 times less likely to get a second symptomatic. Okay, so that's music mode. I just put it on, and then there's the uh, news mode. So I'll kind of go back and forth and see how it sounds. This is 560 WIND Chicago. Thousand person study in Israel. Center in Milan. But other places as well, trying to uh, keep up at least uh, somewhat of the mass Okay, so this is 580 WILL, Urbana, Illinois, about 150 miles south. Uh, this is an NPR station. Now, this is technically north, but that horizontal edge works in both directions, north and south, which is nice. So if I point it west, which is that way, I also pick up east stations too. Something to keep in mind. It uh, works both directions. So 580 is coming in clear now. The current time, like I said, it was 11.09 uh, a.m. Central Daylight Time. Sun's been up for about uh, six hours. We're close to daytime, to give you an idea, so we're not picking up any evening stations. Put this strike into a, a historical context for us. How long did that one go? What was that like then? Nice. Well, that one lasted for about Coming five clear. months, or if you want to be technical, I was 63 days. It's a little switch. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get onto. <laughs> that tone control. So that's news. That's music. So this is 590 WKZO, Kalamazoo, Michigan, about 140 miles to my uh, east, which is that way. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and try a passive loop. Now, a passive loop helps gain without adding any power. This is powerless. You don't need batteries or anything for it. It's a coil of wire, and it helps gather the signal and apply that gain to the radio. So we're going to put a perpendicular to the radio. And what this will do is direct the energy to the ferrite bar inside the radio. So let's go ahead and tune this. You have to tune it. Let me show you. Most people know this, but you tune the passive loop to the station you're trying to receive. 
or boost. See, that's flashing. Let's see if we can get that to study. There we go. Keep going. Okay, 600 is this WMT Cedar Rapids, Iowa. This is 175 miles away. Keep that passive loop there in case I need it again, but just wanted to show you how all those work. I'll have links to this radio and to the passive loops if you're interested. Um, this radio might be a collector's item. It might be rather expensive. Um, I didn't want to put a price on this one. If you love this radio and you want to search it out, go for it. Sometimes there's some awesome deals out there. I think I paid around 100 for mine, to give you an idea. Oh, I'm doing the wrong volumes over here. <laughs> So here's 620 to BTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, which is in the north. So as I turn it, it'll come in clear. Breaking news from the White House this afternoon. We're getting more information in Milwaukee County. The only place for in-depth coverage in Milwaukee. Wisconsin. Sounds good. Nice neutral tone from that speaker. So there you go. They said WTMJ a bunch of times at 620 a.m. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Gift card to the Packers Pro Shop with any free in home estimate from Windows Select. No purchase necessary. Okay, we got music on 640 WMFN, Piatone, Illinois. Muy buenos días. Bienvenidos. Si es que ustedes apenas nos están sintonizando. But this is where I feel a little bad for the kid because you know it was the Packer game. He wanted to win it. He lost it. He's there. He's still 22 years old. Here's 670. The score to be a CR Chicago, home of the Cubs. But but I think that you have to to analyze it and read it. He is not the whole field yet. Have to expect him single tuning. Leave the stress and the mess to us. So call or click today to get your fair cash. 720 WGN Chicago. Because I need it. And and it's tough. It's tough out there. And, and with our families. You know, You're 750 WNDZ Portage, Indiana. What they're doing about their spiritual lives. And some families are fractured. Some families, you know, it, 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 it's very difficult. So... Foot tomorrow, about early midday or so at Millennium Park. There are more details. 780 WBBM Chicago old time radio shows between 12 a.m. and 1 a.m. So at night, uh, if you guys are in the Midwest or East Coast or slightly West, see if you can tune in 780 uh, and see if you can get WBBM if it doesn't interfere with other stations nearby. Uh, and you'll pick up uh, old time radio between 12 a.m. and 1 a.m. Monday through Friday. I love it. I listen to it all the time. Here's a 20 WCPT, Willow Springs, Illinois, about 40 miles away, and one, I think, of only one station that's left wing on the entire AM band, believe it or not. Okay, this is cool. So if I point the radio this way, another example of medium wave and how you, it's directional. This is 860 WNOV, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's 400 watts, so it's a very low power station, 52 miles away. But as I turn it, I'll hear it. Okay, 
And of course the loop will clarify that too. Let's keep going. Okay, just picking up a hint of this, see if I got time, I'll bring the loop in. This is uh, 870 WKAR East Lansing, Michigan, 200 miles away. It's always fun to try to get this one. Thought I heard him. There it is. Okay, we'll keep going. Whoops. Okay. I think I hit uh, the wrong switch. <laughs> yes, I went to Cyber mode. Gotta love it. <laughs> okay, let's turn it back up. Good morning, taking a look at WLS traffic at High pitch ring coming from the camera, 890 WLS Chicago. Northbound to Valentine Road. Every time we have a question about Lamar, it gets better. He, I feel like he's 15 to 20. Here's 920, WOKY, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the Big Badger. I'm not saying he has to be your favorite quarterback, but there's two things about him I absolutely love. Whatever it is, you know, with each other. So no matter what comes down the pipe in terms of their future, Good news or bad, they will be facing it together. Here's 930 WBKM, Sandwich, Illinois, Relevant Radio. They stayed attuned to each other. So, I always tell... We got some classic music on WFAW for Atkinson, Wisconsin, a 940. Here's 950 WNTD Chicago. Relevant radio again. Lower quality than the original stuff you got when you were born. 970 WHA Madison, Wisconsin. connective tissue itself heals. So you want to make sure that you know the correct strategies to protect your back as you go back to the, the kind of heavy work that you're doing. Because what he did dictates that he saw him. Yeah. He decided Here's the SPN 1000 WMVP Chicago. Yeah. To say, no, it wasn't my read. Right. Naked boot. You're right. It's not your read. <laughs> but you saw him. And you were going to... Okay, this is music on 1030 WNVR, Vernon Hills, Illinois. That little switch is a pain, man. Let's try and get some music. There we go. <laughs> All right. WLIP, Kenosha, Wisconsin, to the north. I'll tell you what, Lenny. He hustles a lot harder than you ever give him credit for. I don't give him credit for Picking up some, uh, I don't know, is this disco or some kind of old, yeah, old, oldie oldies. <laughs> 1060 to be HFB, Benton Harbor, Michigan, about 100 miles away. No throwing two touchdowns and running for another in Green Bay's 24 14 win. 1070 WTSO, Madison, Wisconsin. I'm going to go a little quicker here. Kickoff, the last of three straight new kickoffs for the team. WNWI, Oakland, Illinois. Toda migraña, dolor de cabeza, cansancio, estrés. 1110 WMBI, Chicago. Fair Road or an Appleton.
Wilson across from Fox River Mall. Thank you. Individual results may vary. 1130 WISN, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Goodfeetmilwaukee.com. Good feet. Helping Milwaukee walk better for 21 years. Eleven forty with music. Uh, interesting. I don't have that as a daytime station, so let's look at my nighttime list. Uh, this is probably uh, WHBY, Kimberly, Wisconsin, which is one hundred and thirty-five miles and twenty-five thousand watts during the day. So that's what we're picking up. Cool. I haven't picked up that one in a while. Now it's faded. Washington way. Here's 1160 WYLL, Hope for Your Life, Christian Radio, Chicago. Push this out. But here's the problem. We talk a lot about misinformation and the responsibility. See if we can't get the squirrel on 1180 WSQR. This was wrong information. Yeah, the squirrel makes an appearance in a big way. <laughs> 1180. <clears throat> squirrels are in your neighborhood. Yes, this looks like a chipmunk somebody told me. Um, I typed in squirrel and Google gave me this. So I'm just going to keep using it, even if it's not correct. <laughs> but this is fun. Sycamore, Illinois. Awesome. Can't offer. I like that song, though. <laughs> Iron Man likes it too. <laughs> My wife bought that for me. Yeah, she knows I do the Iron Man thing. <laughs> WRTO 1200, Chicago, Illinois. Twelve twenty WKRS, Waukegan, Illinois. WCLO, Janesville, Wisconsin on 1230. It's like I have a station every time I click. <laughs> WSBC, Chicago, 1240. Actually, kind of a hard station to pick up. Twelve fifty. Uh, this is WSSP, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, this is sixty miles away, and it's uh, five thousand watts during the day. I think it's aimed a different direction. Really picking up some music here on twelve sixty W E K Z Monroe, Wisconsin, sixty miles away. Sometimes it comes in clear with my radio, sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't depend on the radio, it just depends on the day. It is sunny out with no clouds in the sky. Cool weather, we're in the sixties. And don't forget about the forty four ounce Scooby Cup with free refills. Scooby's hot dogs today. Scooby's hot dogs? Sweet. WBIG, Aurora, Illinois. Liver Let Die is playing cool. WZTI on uh, Greenfield, Wisconsin. Fonz Radio, I think they call it. 1290. Sweet. Doing this on video with all these little switches, trying to get the volume. 1300 WRDZ, LaGrange, Illinois. He was not saying it just for Democrats or Republicans, but that's what I said. WIBA, Madison, Wisconsin, 1310. I mean, can you imagine if we had. Yesterday afternoon, Parker, letter came to victory. Rockford, Illinois, 1330 WNTA. Our first season was the sky. Live radio, ladies and gentlemen, at its finest. Yeah, sorry about that, sir. Sorry. Yeah. Did you write it down? Yeah, when you got it? 
Yeah, there we go. I have it. All right. Uh, you Thirteen sixty W L B K DeKalb Illinois. Four seven zero oh, nine. Thirteen seventy. I think I'm picking up station next to it. Yeah, it's sounding good. Thirteen eighty W B L South Beloit Illinois. Awesome. Next station over is gospel music. Gotta love that. 1390 WGRB Chicago. Okay, music on 1400 WRJN Racine, Wisconsin. And I'll be happy to throw them in your bin. I do have some other classic favorites here in the Elgin area. I think I'm down to one red poppy bistro certificate around the corner from our... WRMN, Elgin, Illinois, shopping on the radio. <laughs> As everybody knows by now, yes, I want to buy a radio off the radio. I think that'd be the coolest thing in the world. Pub is one of our newest here on the sit-down dining category. Got some music on 1430 WEEF, Deerfield, Illinois. Got a little quicker to get through this band. 1440 WROK, Rockford, Illinois. Fourteen fifty, Cicero, Illinois. Um, I'll check the call letters. It may have changed. I have WCEV. If it's different, I'll post it here. I'll change it. Getting a hint of uh, 1460 WJTI, West Ellis, Wisconsin. 1470. <clears throat> I do have this. <laughs> a different list. WMBD. Peoria, Illinois. It's 135 miles, 5,000 watts. So once in a while, this could come in clear. Fourteen eighty. Um, coming in there. That's interesting. This is Madison, Wisconsin. The LMV. Uh, 77 miles, 5,000 watts. So this is a pretty decent receiver for medium wave. I'm loving it uh, without any assist. Uh, 1490 WGEZ Iron Country, Beloit, Wisconsin. Got some heavy metal <laughs> music on 1500 WPJX, Rebel Radio, Zion, Illinois. Some good music there on 1520 WLUV, Loves Park, Illinois. Fifteen eighty WTTN Watertown, Wisconsin. A loop would help, but I'm running out of time, so keep going. Fifteen ninety WCGO, Evanston, Illinois. Okay, cool. Wow, I don't have this written down. <laughs> 1600 is uh, Iowa, I believe, or Michigan, excuse me. This is going to be, wow, could be two stations, WAAM, 
Ann Arbor, Michigan, 231 miles, which I doubt. I think this is WRPN. Um, Rapan, Wisconsin, 110 miles, 5,000 watts. I'm going to guess it's probably... Wow, it's really hard to say. Let's see if it improves this way. Okay, this is Michigan. Wow, that's cool. So that's uh, WAM, Ann Arbor, Michigan, 231 miles to the east that way. Uh, as I turned it to the north where Wisconsin would be, uh, it didn't come in as well, so it's not the Wisconsin one. Okay, we're almost done. Traffic advisory radio on 1620. This is uh, Lake County, Illinois, and we're almost through. I think that's close to the top of the van. I don't know why it's 1625. Okay, now it starts doing five. I think it runs off the whip now. Here's one thing that couples often do wrong. It may act interesting. WSJP, Sussex, Wisconsin. Yeah, since we're in a lower shortwave band, I guess. It's going by 5 kilohertz stepping. It may still be using the internal antenna now that I think of it. Let's get to the top here. I just want to say that the two that left hand will say it right now. Adrian Hauser. It's coming in good. WOZN, the zone, Madison, Wisconsin, and our final station. It'll be 1690. The church house, the black church and sexuality. WBON, uh, Chicago, Illinois. All right, we're done. So we'll turn this off. There we go. Hope you enjoyed the band scan of the Sony ICF SWS 7600GR. Say that's five times fast. Awesome radio. Love it. Hope you liked the video. Give me a big like if you did. Two, if you like this radio. Uh, and you like Sony Radio, subscribe at the bell icon. Three, comment below if you want to buy this radio or not, or if you own it or not. It is really good. I really like the AM Sync. This is a great medium wave radio. So definitely tell me what you think. <laughs> All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.